Hi guys and welcome to your August 2019 Divine Energy Oracle message. This is this message is going to be for the beautiful sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello, hello Aquas. I certainly hope that this message finds you all well and in good spirits. I know how you guys are impatient and want to get into it, so we're going to get into it. Your message for August 2019 is to nurture yourself first. Aquarius, you are crossing energies with a Libra. Aquarius being fixed air, of, I'm sorry, yes, being fixed air and a Libra being cardinal air. I think that spirit, your divine energy, if you don't have Libra in your chart, you're not romantically linked to a Libra and you can't find a Libra correlation. I think that spirit, your divine energy is telling you that what you need to focus on is to be more cardinal, tap into the achieving balance that the Libra is constantly striving for and kind of take your nurturing yourself, putting it on the forefront. Okay, nurture yourself first, making nurturing yourself and your needs a priority while still balancing the scales. That's what I think that means. Let's go ahead and get into it. Aquarius, your divine energy is calling you to bring your life into balance. I didn't even know that. See, you're, you're, you're being guided to kind of go toward Libra energy. See? See how that works? By becoming more sensitive and responsive to your own needs. Take time and make space for yourself without guilt or defensiveness. If you do not respond to your own needs first, Aquarius, you won't truly have the energetic fuel to love or assist anybody else. Aquarius, you are the water bearer. You're so busy carrying everybody else's water that you're, you're putting your stuff to the side. You have to stop doing that. Aquarius, your divine invitation is to not believe that it's better to give than receive. I've heard a few Aquarians I know say that. And I'm not saying that that's bad. What, what divine is saying that don't necessarily believe that it's always better to give than to receive. Recognize that only when giving and receiving are in balance. So see how you cross them with a Libra? Only recognize when giving and receiving are in balance does life flourish for all. Self-care is the only way to advance your life at this time, Aquarius. So again, I say, it's not that it's not necessarily better to give than to receive, but you can't live your entire existence by giving, giving, giving to another person. And you have the weight, not just of load, of a load, like with the Ten of Wands. No, water is heavy. Water is heavy. And if you are the water bearer, Aqua, then you carrying uh, the weight of the water of everybody in your environment quick to show up for someone else but not recognizing when that voice is talking to you and saying Aquarius or Aqua we need to do this mm -mm. You wait wait and wait and wait and wait and wait no, no 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 that's not what we're supposed to do so one more time if you don't respond to your own needs first you won't truly have the energetic fuel to love or assist anybody else think about that for a second that's where that bitterness, bitterness comes in at and the resentment because no one's going to take care of you the way you're going to take care of you. You can't expect, unfortunately, see, it's not, okay, yes, you should give. It is better to give than to receive for those people who need that general message. But for the water bearer, let's pull you out. It's better for you to balance giving and receiving. And also understand that just because you're so busy giving, giving, giving and holding everybody's load, if you're not dealing with another water bearer, you're not going to truly understand what that feels like. I know that that's a little silly, but you're not going to get it back the way you gave it out. It's just not going to happen. 
Accept that. One last thing and one more time. Don't believe that it's better to, to give than to receive. And recognize that only when giving and receiving are in balance does life flourish for all. And I'm dropping the mic on that. Aquarius, this has been your message. I certainly hope it resonated with at least one Aquarius out there. Sounds like you guys needed that, and I know I, I feel that for you, okay? Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe if you want to let me know what's going on. Personally, you can at readings at marvelousmadam.com. If you want to book me for some personal time, scroll up, scroll down, or drop it like it's hot in that description, where you will see the corresponding links to be redirected to my scheduler to chit-chat with your girl, Marv. And I am out. I certainly hope it resonated once again. Let me know either way, and I wish you the best, Aquarius, okay? Protect your energy, set your boundaries, and protect your, and most of all, most of all, nurture yourself first, okay? All right, Aquarius, I'm out of here. See you next month when we do it again. Bye, guys.